You won't believe what's inside of these tiny mystery boxes craft kit of tiny foods. Yes, this is a mystery box and a craft kit and tiny foods. We have yet more of the Miniverse Make It Mini Foods mystery boxes. For those of you unaware, this set is absolutely phenomenal. We have series two. This is not series one. This is series two, part two. And these mystery boxes have tiny ingredients of little foods and they're absolutely adorable as you can see here. And based on these ingredients, we get a recipe booklet and it tells us what kind of food we're making. And the main concept of this project is we're using UV resin. So it's a liquid that when hardened, becomes a kind of glassy type plastic. I've done so many different projects on this channel using UV resin. Again, I will leave the series down below as well as some projects that I've done previously with UV resin. And since I got these earlier than they dropped in the store, I did pay a premium price for them. So I paid $180 for the small ones and about $200 for the bigger ones of the diner series. It's expensive because I want to be <laughs> Plus about $30 shipping. Yes, I spent over $400 on these little gimmicks. Don't be a Jackie. Wait until they get in stores in our regular price. So today we're going to be attempting to make at least three different projects from these miniature boxes. If you want to watch the previous projects that we've done, here's what the thumbnails look like. We did the diner and the cafe. So we're going to attempt making the cafe series two different projects. As you can see here, we have a few different options that we can get. We even have mystery options that we have yet to see, but I would love to see the unicorn popcorn pop out today. No pun intended. But let me know which one would you like to see in the comment section below. And if you're new here, make sure that you do subscribe. Otherwise I will wave to shine pointy thing at you. Look at it, it's waving. That tells me some of you have not subscribed yet. Do it. <laughs> Click on all notifications while you're there. Are you ready to help King Robert restore the castle to its former glory? For those of you who absolutely adore match three puzzles that are both relaxing and exciting, I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor, Royal Match. In addition to well over 4,500 levels and no ads, Royal Match is a free to play match three game. And the concept is built around King Robert, a fun loving king. So in between restoring the kingdom to its former glory by decorating the castle and its surroundings. There are also some really cool puzzles where you can help King Robert escape his nightmares by also solving some problems. As you can see in this puzzle here, we're trying to get the water down to where King Robert is to turn the fire off. And since there are no ads, you know that you can unwind and relax without any interruptions. And if you want something a little bit more exciting, you can join a team and get help from your teammates. And yes, you can even compete for local and international championships. So if you're looking for a game that is highly engaging, with unique events and endless variety, or looking to relax and unwind with elements like puzzles and decoration, or even competition. Royal Match has you covered, so why not check my link down below as well as the pinned comment to get started today. Again, the link will be in the description box below as well as the pinned comment. Thank you, Royal Match, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. This is a perfect time to remind you, Grains and YouTube, that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. Now, since these are our mystery boxes, it's possible that we will get doubles, but we will skip them immediately and I'll let you know which video to find it in. So let's move these to the side. Just gotta find the right one. Voila. And as always, these little things, the nibs to open them are such a pain in the butt to open because they're so tiny. Look at that. It's really tiny. The other part of it is right here. So our best chance to get this going is to kind of cut it and help it along the way. I'm going to do a little slice like a saw and hope that we have something. That's something definitely the company needs to work on. Let's get this zip. Son of a biscuit. Let's hope we have better luck on the second one. Yes! That's how she be! Let's hear her pop. Very nice. All right, what do we have? We have one, two, three. Then we have all these papers. Four surprises. Ooh, it says chill out. I don't think we got this one before, so let's see what's in here. We definitely don't need the instructions. Because I know what I'm doing. Do you now? And like last time, we have all of these different recipes that we can make. But remember, there are also secret recipes that we don't know what they are. So even if we get a drink, it's possible that the drink is different based on the ingredients that are in there. Like I seriously have no idea what this is. It looks like a food set, but I can't tell. So let's hope we do get one of these. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be a drink just because I think this is going to be a coaster of some sort. Our first bag. 
Very nice. And you are little ice. Is that tiny ice cubes? Like crushed ice? Interesting. That is really adorable. Wait, too cute. Keep cool. Is, oh, what is that? Cherry. Okay, so we have some kind of cherry drink. Interesting. And in the back, it says frostiness vitamin cool it's really tiny yeah vitamin cool and then total burr i guess for cold like brr, brr, i'm cold brr, look at all the snow brr, it's summertime and this is likely going to be our cup yes we have a tiny cup oh my goodness sun fizz co okay do we have a cap for you yes okay we have a cap and i'm going to guess we're going to get a straw now we have the pincher and yet yeah, no, a spoon. Okay, a spoon. Feels like something else is in here. Okay, there we go. We have a straw. Very cute. And so these are the tiny items that we have for this project. Not much is going on, so it should be a fairly straightforward project. And you are... Oh, a cherry slushy. Look at the mountain of slush going up there. Interesting. Got it. So the instruction shows to actually put the liquid and the ice at the same time and stir it. Now I do disagree with this method because if you put the ice first, then you're going to have gaps. So we're gonna put our liquid first and then our ice. And that's how it looks like. Okay, let's attempt to make that little mountain of ice on top. I really want to do that. So we're not gonna follow the instructions as we haven't ever been doing. <laughs> so first things first, we're going to remove the top and we're going to take the cherry soda. I'm gonna turn it around. I don't think it's soda, I think it's more juice. Let's take a look at this color. Hello? Oh, there you are. Oh my goodness, you are red. There you go, we can squeeze a little. Come on. I thought this would be liquidier, but I'm just sitting here like... Time goes by so slowly. Time goes by so slowly. Okay, we're gonna get a good few pumps in there. But word of advice, probably leave your container upside down so that it's easier to pour it out because this is taking forever. All right, so I'm gonna stop here for just a few seconds because the ice should be taking a lot of space. Let's move the cup over here. And look at this, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at it, it even has a little tab. And we're definitely going to have to open it because they're smart enough to actually seal it, right? Yes, it's sealed. So they're smart. And the little penguin says crushed ice. So we're gonna cut it very gingerly. Just a little bit. There. The last thing I want is to drop all of this all over my floor. I'm never gonna see the end of it. All right, let's put you in. Okay, she is not sinking. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and push with our spoon like they said we should. That's it. That looks so good. Well, that got stuck. Oh no, this looks good. Oh, let's not lose our spoon, hang on. <laughs> I got you. There you go. So I'm gonna fill it up in the same way that we've been doing and then we're gonna do that dome. All right, so here's what it looks like. Let's center the straw like a so, best as we can. And now we're going to take our UV light and harden the whole thing so that we can make a second layer and make a little dome thing. Now I could use sunlight, but it's just, it's too long. I don't have the patience. This is like two minutes and we're done. So here you go and lights on. Two minutes later. And here it is, so far so good. You can see the little beads of ice crushed on the inside. And now to make our little bead crush medley. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try anyways. I'm gonna put some of the resin here. We don't want too, too much, just enough. Close you back up. And then we're gonna put a ridiculous amount of these beads. Come on, don't make me regret it. Got you, got you. So far, so good. Oh goodness, oh goodness, do not travel. I'm gonna mix it in here, just enough so that it gets thick and sticky. Yes, 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 this is looking good. So it holds its shape as best as we can have it. Yes, that's looking really good, very nice. And as you can see, our beads to resin ratio is pretty small, so we have way more beads. And look at that, when we shape it, it keeps that shape. So that's exactly what we want. And here's our drink, so now we're going to attempt scooping it. I feel like I need a toothpick. Whee! Oh no! It fell on my desk! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh no! Hang on, let me wash this, it's resin, like, give me a second. <laughs> Alright, we are back, and I'm gonna try and focus more closely on not the actual tiny screen. So we're gonna scoop this and put it around the top part of the straw. Yeah, looking good so far. I'm gonna try and sculpt it. I definitely need more bead mixture. This is looking good. Oh my goodness, very nice. This is 
looking really good so far. Now I just want to make sure that the cap will be okay to go on. So let's go ahead and put it right on there. Nice, very nice. Look at that. It has some good height. So let's take our UV light again and shine it for about a minute. That's going to give us a good solid base. And here it is, it is absolutely adorable. I love the fact that we did not listen to the instructions and we went ahead and did our own little mountain of ice crushed ice on the top. And I definitely encourage you grains, if you're going to make this, think outside the box. Next project. Get our pop. That was very low pop. And we have one, two papers, three, four baggies. Uh oh. Oh, that is new. Okay. Sun Fizz Co. So I'm guessing this is another drink, so we'll power through this one. Our first one. What could you be? Oh, okay. Now we have tiny ice cubes, which are always adorable. This feels like a cup. And you are. Yes. We have a tiny cup with a lid. And I'm guessing this is going to be our main ingredient. And you are? What are you? Orange. Okay, so this is gonna be an orange juice? That's so cute. Look at the label. Oh my God. Let's take a look what the back looks like. It says 100% something, but we don't know what it is just yet. Peel the sticker off. Oh, 100% bubbly. Sounds good. And this utensil is probably going to be our straw. And the answer is we have our pick and our tiny straw. So according to the guide, okay, easy. Nothing highly interesting about this one other than the fact that it's an orange soda. Listen, even if it's orange soda, it's tiny. It's cute. And the instructions are very straightforward. Now, since this is our second drink in a row and it is pretty straightforward, I'm going to actually follow the instructions. I know for once, right? We're putting the resin and then we're going to go ahead and put the ice cubes. Listen, I know I said I would follow instructions, but I kind of like it when items are a little dynamic, so I made the ice a little high. Stop yelling. I followed the instructions as best as I can. <laughs> Center our straw right in the middle. And yes, you guessed it. We're going to go ahead and use our UV light to harden it all up. Again, I said I want three projects, but we're going to go ahead and do more because I want variety. But it is looking absolutely adorable. I love this look. I didn't put the cap on again because I wanted the ice to kind of float and look very dynamic, which is kind of making me want some orange juice. But you know what? We have another one. getting sweets. I'd love to see any of the savory stuff, please, or at least the popcorn. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five surprises. And what are you? What's it say? Snacky snacks. That's what I call snacks. I guess it's snackies. I call them snacky. <laughs> Get rid of these. All right, let's see what we have. It says made fresh. And you are. <gasps> no. Oh my God. Right? Yes! Oh my goodness, I have goosebumps right Look at that, legitimately I have goosebumps right now because we have hot dog buns. Here it says 100% snacky snacks, yumminess 100 and total fun 100. Cute. Okay, this is exciting. I'm really happy we're finally getting savory. I'm personally more of a savory kind of person rather than a sweet kind of person. Let me know your preference. Here it says thank you. And you are, oh no, look at it. We have the hot dog bun holder. That is a cute little container. So we have a wiener dow in a balloon kind of look. It is fully plastic, looking good. One of these is going to be the hot dogs here is, okay, ketchup or mustard? Hang on, I think this is mustard. Yeah, it definitely says mustard right on top and we do have the nozzle that goes with it, so it's just perfect. 50 what? Oh, it's not 50, it's supposed to be so, like so mini. Okay, I get it. I guess this should be the hot dogs? Oh, I'm excited on the packaging that it's going to come in. Oh. I'm just really happy. Look at these tiny hot dogs that already have grill marks right on top and oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Look at this package. Wow, I love this product so it's not sponsored, not a failure, but what the shrimp? What is this? It's like living my childhood here. I love this Snacky Snacks Co. hot dogs. Looking really cute. We do get four hot dogs, but only two buns. So the others could be used for decoration or maybe future projects. And I'm not sure what kind of utensils we're going to get. 
We have the little clamps, and I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't think there would be anything else. And here we go on all the items we got in this tiny set, which are absolutely adorable. Oh my God. Let's find the instructions. And to be fair, it looks like there are two possible different kinds of hot dogs, I believe, but we don't know that yet. So far, we've only been getting the main set and not these extra sets that could be different. And I know they're different because here we even have a pretzel. And in the main set that we can actually see, we don't get a pretzel. So there are things that we should be able to find at some point. I just wish we knew the rarity of each one. instructions are pretty straightforward. We put the bun in the bun holder so that it doesn't topple over, add our hot dog, and then add the mustard. I really hope the mustard is going to be like really fluorescent yellow. All right, let's move our stuff. And first things first, let's take out our cute little bun. Oh my goodness. I just want a bunch of these unopened and just make my own tiny grocery store without them having been opened. Cute. Let's see that bun. Well, that is amazing shading. You can see the difference between the inner bun, which is more pale, and the outer bun, which has a nice shade on it. That is really cool. That's some good artistry here. We're gonna put you here. That's a good fit. Take out one of our hot dogs, which I know it's one of the worst foods you can eat, but it is one of my favorite worst foods. Guilty pleasure. Let's pull one out. Oh, they're really soft. That's a very smooth plastic. Look at that. It's a little rubbery too. It's kind of like an eraser. And you know what? Let's take it out first. Hang on. I want to put it in the bun like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's even it out like so. I don't want to put it all the way down because if I do, it kind of hides. So I'm going to pull it up just a smidge like that. This looks better. Actually, I kind of don't want to put it in here right now. I thought this was going to stop it from toppling over, but the hot dog actually keeps its shape as it is. Look at that. It's very respectable. It keeps itself up. Let's open up our mustard and let's see what you look like. Please believe for us it. Please. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, that looks great. So that's a nice color. So we're going to go ahead, close this up. That's a nice nozzle. And let's get you grains on the top view because this deserves it. Now let's protect the surface in case the resin does fall down. And I'm going to keep it like this. And we have our resin. And let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my gosh. Squeeze. Squeeze, you son of a biscuit. I don't want it to get too trippy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why are you not squeezing? It was nice and stringy before. Now it's getting all goopy and gross. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our UV light to harden it up. Light on. Oh no, bubble! No! No bubble. No. Okay, there you go. That is gross. That is not what I wanted. We're gonna have to do a second one. I'm gonna keep this upside down. That is gross. That's way too much mustard. <laughs> Okay, let's just say this first hot dog was put together by a mustard lover. And let's let's make the second one with someone who's more reasonable with mustard. One of the things I would have loved to see, maybe so that we can put at the bottom, since the bottom down here is pretty empty, is maybe some coleslaw. I know here we have coleslaw on our hot dog. I don't know if that's normal, but here's a picture of it. Hot dog and coleslaw just really taste good together. All right, here's our next bun. Here's our wiener. In you go, looking good. All right, now we're doing this for real, okay? This has been upside down, so we want nice, thin strands like that. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's probably too much still. There, hardened. <laughs> it was a little harder to control. No, Bubble! No, you are not allowed to exist back in here. What is it with bubbles, man? I have to say that I'm probably overestimating my mustard pouring skills. They're adorable, okay? You can't say anything, they're just adorable. <laughs> they're so tiny compared to my fingers. So let's just pretend they're cheese. Melted cheese on the hot dogs. Yes, it is. Indeed. But let's try them out in here. So let's go ahead and take one of the tiny hot dogs and put it on the serving station. Oh my gosh. This is cute. This is probably one of my favorite. I am very simple. This is very cute. Probably the simplest project there is, but it's too cute. You know what? I'm feeling it. Let's go for number four. Pop. Oh, that was sad. Okay, what do we get? Do not be a double. We have one, two, all these papers, three, and four. Uh-oh, snacks 
Co. Is this the same thing? Did we just get a double again? Let's throw this. Or maybe we got a special edition of the same thing? I don't know. Let's find out. This is quite bulky. What are you? And it is. Oh, that is different. What are you? It's a churro kit. This is exciting. I'm liking these. The drinks, don't get me wrong, are cute, but I really want more substance. This. Oh no. Get out of here. Sunny's Bites Yum. Look at this box. We have four churros in here. Look at that. We have a happy one and a cool looking one. And then we have the information guide on the side. What is our non-nutrition facts? Buttery fun, crunchiness, and vitamin yum with a total delight. Cute. Let's look at them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are they sugared already? What? No way. That's really cute. For those of you who don't know churros, they are, according to Wikipedia, it is a type of fried dough from Spanish or Portuguese cuisine. It's made with choux pastry, and then you can basically flavor it however way you want. Some people put cinnamon sugar, others put chocolate, and you can find a different myriad type of churros. I've only had churros once and it was in Japan, and I actually had the sweet potato and cinnamon flavor. It was really good. But look at that, these are sugared. You can even see the tiny little speckles. What are they? They're not glitter. It's almost like tiny sand, but they look absolutely phenomenal. This one got extra love though. These ones are not so loved, but this one's definitely loved. And what's our next one here? It says, thank you. I'm guessing this is going to be our plate. And yes. Okay, what is that? For coffee? So we have our tiny plate. Anything else in here? No. And this is going to be our utensil, which I don't know what we should expect. We have our tiny tongue things and our spoon and don't worry about this little thing that comes in it's basically to just seal the compartment make it look like a cake decorating thing if you want to keep your item inside which I don't use so let's find what the recipe says it's supposed to look like whoa choco churros and look at that it's even floating on top of the chocolate dip cup interesting Okay, let's see if the, the recipe or the instructions actually tell us how to make a floaty. Otherwise, I'm gonna teach you how. Got it. So according to the instructions, it says to dip the churros, put them on the plate, and then just put with your spoon in the cup and that's it. So they're not teaching you how to make a floating churro. That's sad. I know this is beginner level, but you could show us some expert levels, maybe? Listen, Miniverse, if you would like me to help you make those tutorials, or maybe even a QR code of extra videos for tutorials, contact me. You can hire me as a consultant. Nobody's ever taken me on consultant yet. Trust me, I will help you. I've got good ideas. Trust me. There's a chocolate. And what's it say in the back of the chocolate? It says yumminess, total smiles, and choco goodness. Okay. Now this project, I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. So I need to kind of map out where I want my churros and I want them to be a little bit more respectable than the ones in the picture. So I think we're gonna have three kind of over here like this. You know what? I kind of want the extra loved one to be the dipped one. Y'all gonna be here. <laughs> You're gonna be the average loved one. <laughs> and we're gonna have our dip cup right here. And then I want this one to kind of float above diagonally like so. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So let's move this. And we're going to bring our little mat because this might get a little messy. And I'm going to prep my light so that we can harden this much quicker. Voila, like this. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these, dip it in here like so. And now we're going to harden it immediately under the UV light like so. So that way we actually get the pieces that don't look too melty or kind of gross. It has a nice border stop and finish. Stop and finish. Stop and start and stop. <laughs> and now we're going to do the exact same thing. Yes, you see here with the second one and the third one. They're looking pretty cute. Now we're just going to put them on the plate. We'll put this one here, this one here, and that one right, oh my goodness, right 
there like so that looks good that looks really good and then we'll have space for our little dipping cup right here now to make the floaty churro I'm going to use material that we already have in here which is a piece of plastic that looks like this and I've essentially just cut a piece of this size it doesn't really matter the shape kind of more or less like this and we're going to start off by making a tiny bend at the bottom of the plastic the part that is thicker like so voila and we're gonna make sure that it can stay at the bottom of the cup so I'm gonna dip it in the chocolate generously and we put it in the cup like so make sure that it's not touching the edges voila and now we take our UV light and harden it that's going to keep it in place and now I'm going to take my little spoon and put a little bit more of that chocolate and make sure that it covers the entire piece of plastic that's going to give us a lot more structure and it's gonna be strong we need it to be strong because it's going to have to hold the whole churro up by itself and every time we add some as you can see we add a little bit of that UV light to hold it all together and so far looking pretty good we do have a stem at the top that I angled it at the angle that we want our churro to be churro churro not to be confused with churro churro is a snack for kitty cats <laughs> when they go crazy over that here's splinter enjoying his churro so what I want now is to make sure that we harden the churro and the chocolate dip together at this angle here actually we could try and go a little higher maybe like a so voila so to do that I'm going to prep my UV light so I'm just gonna keep it on upside down and I'm going to dunk my churro in the chocolate like a so try and get more at the bottom if possible oh gosh that is not more at the bottom there you go please work I'm doing a tutorial and I don't even know if this is gonna work and we're gonna put you like a so and as you can see here I am rushing to get that light going so that we can harden it as quickly as possible no oh my god and just to make sure that the rest of the plastic is hidden, I took the spoon and went ahead and covered to make it drippy from the top down. I don't know if you're ready for this, but look at it. Oh my goodness. And yes, it is pretty solid on there. So I'm not worried about it falling or disassembling. We do have sufficient amount of resin, but now I forgot there was another issue with sculpting gravity. Cause if I put it down, I have way too much weight going on backwards. So it just falls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to glue it onto the plate. So we're just gonna have to decide which way do we like it most. And I kind of like it this way, like that. I think that's cute. So unfortunately, the cup is going to have to be a little messy. We're going to put a little bit of that chocolate resin at the bottom because we want it to spew out from the back like so if you want to glue it you can also glue it with transparent glue and that's totally fine as well and how did we want it we wanted it like this so i'm gonna put it like that take my uv light and do the doing voila and ta-da look at that no hands mama there it is oh my goodness that is a cute project I really do enjoy leveling up these instructions because I feel like the instructions are good, but if you want to level them up, you do have that freedom. But here are all the projects we did today. Which one is your favorite? If you want to watch more of the Miniverse, I will leave a playlist over here. If you want to watch something a little different, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grins in the next video.